Thank you for downloading Read and Write for iPad. There are just a few more steps to follow before you're ready to start using your new software. First, please follow this wizard through to the end. This will give you the opportunity to link Read and Write for iPad with your existing Read and Write for Google or Read and Write for Desktop license. If you do not already own one of these products, you can sign up for a free trial using your Google ID or purchase unlimited access to the premium features via an in-app purchase. When the wizard is complete, press the Home button to return to your iPad's home screen. Open the Settings app and select the General tab. Scroll down and select Keyboard. Tap on Keyboards to see a list of your currently installed keyboards. Select Add New Keyboard and then tap on Read and Write. You will now see the Read and Write keyboard in the list. Tap on Read and Write and toggle the Allow Full Access option to on. Allow Full Access enables the Read and Write keyboard to perform more powerful features while you're typing. It does enable the keyboard to send what you type to the text help servers so that we can send you back word predictions, spelling suggestions, and dictionary definitions. But don't worry, we will not store any of your data. Now it's time to set up the Safari web reading toolbar. Open Safari and tap on the Share icon. Scroll the Share Extensions list all the way to the right and tap on More. Find Read and Write in the list and toggle it on. You can drag Read and Write to the top of the list if you like. This will make it appear first in the list of Share Extensions so that you can access it more quickly. Now, anytime you load up a web page, you can select Read and Write from the Share menu to open the toolbar. Congratulations! You are now ready to start using Read and Write for iPad.